boys, I looked at it and I did not do a top 10 running back list for over three weeks. And I completely feel bad because I normally like to wait until there's a big influx. But we've been slowly getting card after card after card. More X factors coming in the game as well. So you guys know I had to update this list for you guys. But if you guys enjoy top 10s like this, I do them for every major position. So make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe so you never miss them. I also do gameplays in all these cards as well. So most of these cards in this top 10, you probably saw a video on from my channel. Like I said, if you enjoy those type of videos, hit that like, hit that subscribe. We're pushing for 50k, man. It's a big, big goal on my channel here today, but let's just jump right into number 10. If you are looking for cheap, fast Madden coins to build that God Squad you always wanted, head over to my sponsor, EasyMutt, and use code CHU for 5% off your order. The link is in the description. Start the list off at number 10. We do got Big Michael Vick. I know this is an older card right here, but compared to a lot of the newer running backs in the game, like a big one for me was like that weekly wild card, Jameer Gibbs, that missed the spot. I saw like Barry Sanders was another one that was like a big card, Saquon. But Michael Vick is still a good card. He definitely came out a little bit before his time. You guys remember, or now that you can look at it, 95 speed is actually the only card that is not 96 and above on this list. So he's technically the slowest guy in this list. And there was not another 96 speed guy besides CJ2K who got snubbed from this list, but that card right now in the game is just probably you don't want to put in the field with that carrying but when we look at Michael Vick you can see good excel good agility on him good speed like I said the carrying is above 92 they did not slaughter him on carrying like they've done a lot of receiving backs or even elusive backs in this year's Madden but you can see the catching's good the change direction's good the break tackle's not above 90 but he'll be fine you're gonna be juking anyways but the reason why Michael Vick is good is because as you guys know he gets the cover athlete freight train I would put him higher if his freight train wasn't the worst version or edition of it i guess you could say because as you or, and actually i just remembered there are a little bit of slower players in this list but yeah there's our x factors that carry them up a little bit but freight train i will say his is the worst version because it doesn't start on you have to i think run five times to get it on and then you can keep on doing that to get it back on and on and on i still got to count that though because it is there for zero ap it is really nice to have and then obviously you get some solid abilities right here including energizer for zero super underrated ability with how broken the juke move is michael vick a solid card man definitely an underrated running back still number nine even beating out a newer weekly wild card running back in jameer gibbs we do have our guy devon a chain and this card i actually did a gameplay on normally these cards are like meh whatever at the end of the day but they gave him 96 speed at a 94 overall well deserved by the way he's good he's very very fast out there i think the small running backs sometimes can get a little glitchy at times because you're not really getting touched at the line of scrimmage and devon a chain was actually one that felt amazing i don't know if it's because his build is really small so he's really swervy or has to do with the 94 change direction but he felt amazing out there. He also does have 93 carrying. He can still catch the ball just by having 74. You got gift wrapped out there. No special X factor, but at the end of the day, I love Jukebox for one. Matchup Nightmare can get a little glitchy too on angle routes because you're always matching up against safeties over the middle of the field. So he does hold on to some crazy balls, I mean, especially when you stack that with gift wrapped, right? But this card, super underrated. I think the speed felt good. He felt a lot quicker than a lot of people. I'm like I said, it's probably the build to change direction combined, but. He's good, man. This is an underrated card here. Che super cheap, too. I think the cheapest card on this list is literally a chain. Number eight, we got the brand new Edge card. And I was super disappointed in this card. He is always one of my favorite running backs every single year in Madden. But as you guys know, with the Ultimate Legends drop, they absolutely destroyed all of these cards. Not even the LTDs are very good in this promo. And Edge... Solid card still. I mean, a base card alone, he still makes the top 10 list. He's 96 speed. He's basically almost the same exact stats as our guy at Chain, who is a 94 overall. Basically the same exact stats almost. But he is 6'2", 200 pounds, so he's a little bit better of a receiving back. I, I like the tall running backs because they catch better. You can also throw high balls on, like, wheel routes and stuff, which is really nice. But when you stack that also with the fact that he didn't get really many great abilities, no zero APs, by the way, on a brand new 96, it really does think. I mean, evasive is cool. I do like that for a 1 AP, but I would have loved to see at least one 0 AP or maybe even X Factor in these new Ultimate Legends. There's really just nothing special about these cards, and it sucks because Edge is one of my favorite running backs every time he drops. This is probably the most mid version of him he's gotten in the last like three years. Number seven, we have Derrick Henry, and I will say this is the hardest card to grade right now because many of you guys watching and a lot of people who still own Derrick Henry are definitely ghost theme teamers. I rank these videos off of no theme team base, just a general running back description, I guess you could say. Obviously, if you're in your theme team, Derrick Henry is cracked. He's going to be 97 speed, right? The reason why I can't, I don't know if I could put Derrick Henry any higher than this on a non-theme team base is because you can see statistically he's really, really bad across the board. Obviously, the only, re the, literally, there's only one reason why you could ever have this card, and it's because of the angry runs. He is awful when this is off. He's one of the worst running backs 
probably he's probably not even a top 20 running back in the game when this angry runs is off but the thing is, is when the angry runs is on he's like a top three running back he breaks every tackle falls forward and then also you could stack that with his ability over here persistent where he will have it on for 10 plays but the, the other thing that kind of is a negative on derrick henry is you have to score two touchdowns with them to get the x factor back on for another 10 plays so it's a little bit tough but at the end of the day i think that availability of even subbing him in you uh, even in the video yesterday we were playing a gameplay i think it was the the comet video right somebody subbed in derrick henry literally mid game and it was very hard to play against i think he's a really good sub in running back but making him your your main running back and having no backup could be tough because like i said once that x factor is off he is an awful running back but the the drastic differences i had to throw him somewhere in this list you know now we move to number six where we got that brand new aka can the kansas comet i almost butchered his name right there gale sayers is back in madden we did a video on this card yesterday so he's still fresh in my mind he is very very solid i will say we did struggle a little bit on the running game but we played a good opponent he had a lot of inside stuffs uh whatever the no outsiders but this card balls man 96 speed great excel as well by the way 98 right there i will say they did kind of kill his carrying too i would love to see 90 carrying on every running back coming out at 96 it really does suck that 88 is still like like lounging around on a couple of these guys but i don't know why they do that he didn't fumble at all for me in the couple games i got to use him but i do love him as a receiving back one of the best receiving backs in the game 87 catching if we come down here his route running is really good too 86 short and then also better abilities than a lot of the running backs we've shown you so far route tech as a starting ability or a starting x factor for zero or backfield master which is really really nice and then you can stack that with energizer which i told you very underrated ability or that evasive i know everybody who loves jukebox evasive is basically jukebox built in could get backyard running back too, which is nice as well. But I think the evasive and also route tech is really, really glitchy. That's what we ran on him. This card is fire. And he also gets two times comes for his team team. Gotta love Gale Sayers out there. All right, starting our top five, we do have Payton Hillis. And I, I really do kind of want to put him higher than this. But 94 speed and not getting any major theme team like Ghosts, like playoff Super Bowl, anything. Literally no theme team at all besides what? Browns, Broncos, and I think Giants. Uh, it's kind of his downfall, right? He is probably the best all-around running back when you take away that speed stat. He has, obviously, the X Factor, the Angry Runs X Factor, which is broken. It is the exact same thing as Derrick Henry's. But the difference between him and Derrick Henry is they are the same speed. He is very tall as well, but he's a much better receiving back with 86 catching and also much better route running down here. But another thing is, is he could juke. Madden 24 is the year of the juke. Payne Hillis... I mean, you guys know when he was in, like the top dog in the game, he was the best running back for most people. They even banned him from the MCS. The players all had a gentleman's agreement to not use Payne Hillis in the MCS because how good this card was. They also did that for Derrick Henry too. Don't let me lie there a little bit, but I will say I think juking is a big deal. That's why I value his X Factor a little bit more. I just don't know if I could throw him any higher because we do have a better X Factor now in the game. And also he is just slow as dirt. Everybody has 98 to 99 speed running around here. At number four, we got our guy T Davis. I love Terrell Davis's card. I've been in a Super Bowl theme team since the day this card has came out, and I've gotten a good run with him plenty of times. He is obviously 96 speed, goes in the best theme team, and also has the availability of the lighted up token. You can have two of them. I think a lot of people have two of the past ones. You had to buy it, sadly, off the market. But at the end of the day, good card all around statistically. And also, you could get, oh, what is it called? The route tech right here, the backyard running back, which is even better than route tech. It's faster playmakers and also hot routes. So obviously, you get your running back apprentice built in. Or the evasive for zero, which is nice. And that also would boost his speed up to 97, making him one of the best running backs base in the game at speed. And then also solid abilities. They gave these guys dual discounts. I think this is why everyone's annoyed with like Edger and James and whatnot. Because Edger and James, the Comet, they only got one discounted ability while these guys get two slots. So you can run Energizer and Evasive or you can run Bruiser and Evasive. He's very good, man. It sucks that a lot of the new cards are somehow getting downgraded ability-wise and stat-wise. But Terrell Davis, still a dog, man. Goes in, every theme, or goes in the major theme team right now boys i currently do not have him right now you can see i am using the other card our, i think it's yeah i'm using you can use them both on the pass guys so i have it on chuck howley right now and heinz ward but cmc i do value as the third best running back in the game you can see the base stats right there. like i said i don't want to like go switch it out just for the video because i am recording another video right after doing this but at the end of the day he is still very good 96 base speed you put the lighted up token he's 97 just like terrell davis out there but you guys know with him he's a great catcher 85 catching you can see right there he has amazing carrying as well above 90 he gets the good juke move and i also just love the abilities he gets 
Giants. I can't show you him right now, but I believe he gets running back apprentice for one and also jukebox for one, which is really, really nice. And then you can throw on the lighted up token as well to get the backer running back or the yak him up, which I will say, I don't know how I feel about yak him up too crazy, but I guess you can get a little bit glitchy with the running back depending on how you play. But like I said, I don't have a max out. CMC's top three. I think no matter what, you could argue him over number two, definitely. But I think right now I got to have him at three. And at number two, we got Jamal Williams. And as you guys know, there is some very bad news with this card. So take this with a grain of salt as you will. They are nerfing him. for. I, I can show you right here on the 28th. You can see the description on the right right there. They are downgrading his speedster chem, which is the only one you should be running right there, on 228, which if I look at my phone, I'm recording this in the 19th. So when the time you guys are watching this, it'll be only eight more days left, basically. Seven and a half probably. So it does suck, but at the end of the day, as I'm currently recording this video, you have a week of using him, so I feel like I have to include him in the list. I think he's a top two running back in the game. No theme team at all. I have zero theme team, and he is 99 speed. That is insane to think about. 97 excel, 96 agility with the speedster strat. He has a 98 carrying, the best in the game, by the way, at running back. Still a solid catcher with that gift wrapped. It doesn't even matter. And then you have great change direction. You're trucking your prey tackle. He has the good juke move. And then also, let's talk about the abilities. You can see mine is a little bit souped up because I've been wasting a little bit of AP, having some fun. But he does get one AP jukebox right there. You can get zero AP bulldozer, zero AP persistent, one AP running back apprentice, and also you get zero AP balance beam or tank. Like I said, I suit mine up a little bit, but this speedster, as of right now, he is him. I mean, CMC to get him to 99 speed, you need a fully maxed two world theme team. Jamal, you need nothing. You just need to put in the 96 to upgrade him, but I got to have him here, man. Jamal is way too good until he gets nerfed. And everybody knew who was really at number one. I mean, he he feels like he is tears above everybody right now. Definitely the best running back in the game. And I really don't have to explain much besides, yeah, if we come over here to his X-Factor, boys, he is the new Derrick Henry, the new Peyton Hillis, I guess you could say. He gets the good juke move. He also, oh yeah, another thing too. This is another reason why he's broken. Gets every major theme team in the game. Super Bowl. He can get the old ghost theme team that a lot of people are running. Playoffs if you wanted it. If you're running any of these theme teams, he still matches it. So yes, you could easily get him to 99 speed while getting an X Factor and getting a good juke. So yeah, we have basically a baby Payne Hillis right here. He's a little smaller. He's not as good as a Bill. He's not as good as a catcher. But at the end of the day, you are fast. You get the good juke. You're going to break a lot of tackles. He's disgusting. He is very unfun to play against. I got to use him. I actually sold him because he was 3 mil. I don't know what he currently is. I sold him for like 3.4, which is insane. I can't hold a card for that much. But if you got it like that, you got it like that. He is definitely RB1 in this game. No question. No ifs, ands, or buts. No arguments. I can't. I'm not even hearing no argument about this. Boys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. I mean, the running backs definitely have became loaded a little bit. I would say they're definitely on the top side a little bit. A lot of those guys in the top five feel a lot better than the bottom five, but still a good all-around running back list. Let me know down below which running back are you rocking right now in the game, and I hope to see you guys in that next video, man. Peace out, boys.